Hello, everyone. In this video, I will introduce this helicopter control system based on the this base device. This is a 2DOF helicopter. 2DOF means the 2DOF movements. They are pitch angle and uh, yaw angle. This is the DSpace 1103 device. We will use it to control the helicopter system. This is the DSpace controller board. And this is the DSpace I.O. board. Here, there are the two power supplies for the helicopter system. These two power supplies will get the control signal from the DSpace device through the DEC1 and the DEC2 channel. And according to the controller signal, they, are, they will generate two loops of control volt to drive two motors on the helicopter to control their angles. And again, on the DSpace side, we will get the feedback signal of the helicopter. The feedback signals are two loops, helicopter angle from the two decoders. And from the helicopter angle, we will also get the helicopter angle velocity. This is the developing computer. Next, let me show you how to run this pro program. On the MATLAB command window, we open the two M files. These two M files are the initial values for the control system. We run them separately. And then open the MATLAB Simulink program. This Simulink program will be downloaded to the DSpace device and to control the helicopter device further. In this Simulink program, we have three different control modes. And we will only demonstrate this first control mode. Next, let's download this program to the DSpace device. In Tools, Real-Time Workshop, and uh, Select build model. This program will switch to the MATLAB command, command window and showing the status of downloading progress. At the same time, we open this DSpace control desk software. Right now, we hear the sound from the helicopter device. And this means the program has been downloaded to the DSpace device successfully, and uh, the DSpace uh, device has started controlling this helicopter device. Here, on this DSpace control desk, we open the variable file first. Let's enter the right folder and uh, open this SDF, SDF file. This SDF file is the parameter file which was generated when we downloading the program to the DSpace. And then we open the layout file. Again, we go to the right folder and open the layout file here. This layout file is pre-developed. We just open it and run it. On this layout file, we will show the desired pitch angle and actual pitch angle, and the, the desired yaw angle and the actual yaw angle. And on this plotter, we will show the two loops control voltage. Here, in this input box, we can Select the control mode. We will only demonstrate the control mode one. 
here in this input box, we will we can set the desired pitch angle. The default pitch angle was is negative forty point five, and here is the stop button. This is the capture window. We can set the capture length as one hundred second, and uh, deselect this auto repeat button. Right now, we switch the control mode from edit mode to animation mode. This uh, program will start monitor the status of this helicopter system, and we set the target pitch angle as negative twenty. Hit enter. We can see the helicopter angle changed to negative twenty. The red curve shows the desired pitch angle, and the green curve is the actual pitch angle. And next step, we will set the desired pitch angle to zero. We hit enter button. We can see the changing of the helicopter pitch angle. And again, we can set the target value as ten. The actual angle will approach to target angle step by step. We can set it to back to the default value negative forty point five. We switch to the helicopter and hit enter button. We can see the helicopter angle changed to the default value, and again we can see the pro process of the changing helicopter angle. After we get one record, and we can save this data as the in the form of a mat file. We give it a name M3. Hit save button, and then hit stop button to stop control this helicopter device, and、uh, change the mode back to edit mode, and hit stop button, close the program.